Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers, welcome to the Cricket Happening Show today. Um, yes, uh, I have to start off with some breaking news which is coming in from New Zealand. Uh, and New Zealand have become the first country uh, to have named the 15-man squad for the World Cup 2019 which is going to be starting in England uh, in the month of, uh, if I'm not wrong, in the month of uh, May. Um, end of May, I suppose. Uh, well, so the, 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 if, the, if you see the team composition, uh, East Sodhi, the leg spinner, has been selected and there is a new bloke in the team. Uh, it has come as a bit of a surprise, but nevertheless, uh, this bloke uh, by the name Tom Blundell, uh, he has played T20s, he's an aggressive uh, batsman, uh, he's a wicket keeper at that and he has been uh, selected. In fact, he has not played a single ODI and so he would be making his debut uh, in World Cup as a reserve wicket keeper uh, after Tom Latham. And Tom Blundell uh, uh, has been selected. So he's the uh, new cap in the, uh, in the New Zealand side. And the reason he has been selected, one was probably wondering whether Tim Seaford, the wicket keeper who really played very aggressively against the Indians when Indians went there. Um, uh, but but uh, I'm told that uh, he was basically I was under the impression that Tim Seifert would be the automatic choice but unfortunately due to injury and also I'm told that his glove work uh, is not as good as compared to Tom Blundell and that's a precise reason uh, it has gone to Tom Blundell who will be actually making his debut in a one day international uh, in a World Cup. There are a few other players who have actually gone through this. Uh, I'm told that there are a few other players who have actually uh, gone and made uh, debuts in the World Cup. Uh, some uh, just uh, uh, naming a few uh, players uh, who have actually uh, done it. Uh, just wanting to uh, share with you, uh, dear fans, uh, friends, and subscribers, uh, that the players who have have actually uh, gone on uh, to make their debut in the World Cups. Uh, there are two New Zealand players who have done that. One is uh, Danny Morrison, as you remember, he's a cricket commentator now, but he was a very good. Um, bustling fast bowler uh, and then Andrew Jones were wonderful batsmen uh, they were the ones who actually made debuts for New Zealand in the World Cup and so Tom Blunder becomes the third person uh, for New Zealand to make a debut in a World Cup and the other players include the other players include some famed names uh, Andre Russell as you know he's on a real hitting spree right now in IPL 2019 and what a uh, what an uh, I mean he was the one uh, one who actually made his debut in the World Cup Kiran Polad made his debut in the World Cup, the West Indian player. Imran Thayer of South Africa made a, a debut in the World Cup. And also, the India's former uh, uh, player and uh, all-rounder, Ajay Jadeja, also made his debut in the World Cup. So, uh, definitely, uh, so we are, uh, so, there's, so, so there's a lot of, uh, lot of things happening. So, first I wanted to actually talk about it. So, let's have a look at this uh, New Zealand team. Uh, as I said, New Zealand have become the first team. Uh, to go and announce the 15-man uh, World Cup squad. So now we are probably going to see uh, a lot of other teams also follow suit uh, in actually naming the World Cup squad. So let's have a look at the uh, New Zealand team which has been named for World Cup 2019. Kane Williamson will captain the squad now in duty on IPL 2019 as we all know. Martin Guptill, Henry Nichols. Uh, Henry Nichols will, uh, I I'm told that Henry Nichols will be the one who will be opening the batting with Martin Guptill in the, in the World Cup. Uh, Ross Taylor, uh, the experienced Ross Taylor, Tom Latham, uh, who is a who will be doubling up as a wicket keeper and as a very very solid batsman. Colin Munro. Now Colin Munro, there was a bit of a doubt whether Colin Munro will uh, actually get a nod because uh, he has been not in some very good form. But Colin Munro has been retained in the New Zealand squad. Tom Blundell is the new cap rookie. No, not a rookie, I would say. He has played T20s, so he would be uh, playing an ODI for the first time if at all he gets selected in the. Uh, in the in the matches uh, in the World Cup, uh, Jimmy Neesham, the all-rounder. They have Colin D. Greenholm, another good all-rounder. Mitchell Santner is also considered another all-rounder. East so the the leggy uh, has uh, made his mark there, and the 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 pace bowling com you know the pace and swing combination of Tim Sally, Trent Bolt, the trust tried and trusted, and Matt Henry, and the express pacer Lockie Ferguson gets his first World Cup. So so this is the team composition. Uh, as far as New Zealand are concerned, so uh, the, uh, for the World Cup. So now uh, let's um, um, let's have a look uh, at what happened. Now I'm going to uh, take you down to tomorrow, yesterday's match, which happened 
which was uh, simply, simply uh, something uh, that has never happened uh, in IPL history. And the reason that I say that has never happened in IPL history is that this was something uh, which was uh, like it was something that what could one say? As I said, never ever has one seen uh, uh, such a sensational collapse happen uh, in IPL. Well, let's have a look at that match. And uh, that match was between uh, King Sullivan Punjab and Delhi Capitals. Um, King Sullivan Punjab made 166 for 9. The King Sullivan, the, the Delhi Capitals were sailing absolutely smoothly at 144 for 3. Rishabh Pant was at the crease uh, along with Colin Ingram, uh, I reckon. Uh, let me have a look. Yes, uh, it was uh, Rishabh Pant. Uh, at, uh, Rishabh Pant was at the crease along with uh, Colin Ingram. And things look under pretty much control. Uh, and with uh, and in a space uh, of just seven runs, eight wickets were knocked out, and the Delhi Capitals were consigned to defeat as they were bowled out for 152. Uh, and uh, it was a victory uh, for the uh, Kings 11 Punjab by 15 runs, which they would have probably not even expected or even dreamt. And the main architect was the bowling of Sam Curran. Sam Curran took four wickets. Tremendous bowling from Sam Curran. Uh, if you look at it, Sam Curran had figures of 2.2 overs, no made in 11 runs and four wickets. And giving him company was Mohammed Shami, four overs, two for 27. Uh, absolutely rattled. Delhi Capitals were absolutely rattled by that spell from Sam Curran. He also went on to take the first ever hat trick uh, in APL, in IPL, two, uh, first hat trick in IPL 2019. Now, looking at the uh, card there, just as a sneak peek, Kingsley and Punjab bad at first. 166 for nine was what they put on the board. Um, Rahul uh, was out for 15. Sam Curran, as Chris Gale was not playing yesterday, uh, it was Sam Curran who was thrusted in as an opener, and it was very really happy to see that because I always felt that Sam Curran uh, has a, a big potential uh, to be a pinch hitter for England. Uh, in ODIs and Sam Curran came there and knocked off 20 of just 10 deliveries, 3 4s and 1 6 and he was walking back to the pavilion out to the bowling of Lamichani, uh, Agarwal 6, uh, Safras Khan made 39 of 30 deliveries, uh, then we had uh, Mandeep Singh, um, uh, Mandeep Singh was the one who actually uh, got, I mean David Miller contributed 43 uh, but it was uh, Mandeep Singh uh, who actually uh, took the score. Uh, on to uh, onto a score of 166 with an unbeaten uh, uh, Mandeep Singh's uh, Mandeep Singh's contribution. Uh, I'm just trying to see Mandeep Singh's contribution. He was not out on 29 of 21 balls, two fours and one six. And um, other than that, there was nothing to really talk about. Uh, the bowling was uh, very good, as I said. Rabada 230, 23 for 30 for Morris. Avesh Khan none for 30. Uh, Levin Chane was the pick of the bowlers uh, with his leggies, two for 27. Now, Delhi Capitals, uh, they lost Prithvi Shaw uh, pretty early in the piece, you know, the very first delivery of the innings when Ashwin uh, had his man. But after that, Shikhar Dhawan with a contribution of 30 of 25 balls with 4 fours, and Shreya Sair with 28 of 22, 5 fours, and Rishabh Pant. As I said, this was the point where things started happening uh, for uh, the King Salon Punjab. Uh, Rishabh Pant was 39, Colin Ingram was 38, uh, and Mohamed Shami rattled punch stumps. He was gone for 39, 26, 3 fours, 2 sixes. Uh, Ingram contributed um, 38 of uh, 29 balls, 4 fours and 1 six. And as I said, it was a, it was a Sam Curran show. As um, to complicate matters, uh, Chris Morris was run out and then Mohamed Shami uh, hit the timber of Hanuma Vihari. Uh, Patel was out to the bowling of Curran uh, and then the hat-trick took place. Rabada was clean bowled by Curran for Duck. Lamichane for Duck. Avesh Khan was not out on four. And it was a very, very sorry side at 144 for four, three in the 16.4 uh, overs with three overs to go uh, with only 22 to get in with seven wickets in hand. Uh, one, would have, uh, one would have definitely expected uh, that, uh, you know, they would have just, uh, you know, uh, just gone through the paces there and won the match. And look at what happened. As I said, this has been a sensational collapse uh, as far as IPL 2019 is concerned. Uh, something like this has never happened in IPL, such a sensational uh, batting collapse. And if you look at the ball in Curran, uh, 2 for 12, uh, Curran had 2 for 12, uh, uh, Ashami 2 for 27, 
uh, Mujibu will play yesterday, four rows none for 36, Ashwin two for 31, and what a, I mean, uh, Sam Curran was named man of the match for, uh, you know, for his hat-trick, his four wickets, and also uh, for making 20 runs coming in as an opener uh, in, in place of injured Chris Gale. So, so that was a wonderful match, so that's something which I missed upon yesterday, so I just wanted to uh, go through that. But now we go on to the current match that happened, uh, which is the match between Royal Challengers Bangalore and Rajasthan Royals. And Rajasthan Royals finally collected their first point of IPL 2019, leaving Ro Royal Challengers Bangalore uh, to really fend for themselves in this IPL as they have lost all the matches so far and they are still hunting for their uh, elusive win right now, I could say. So Royal Challengers bat uh, Bangalore were the ones who batted first and they had a very steady start. Virat Kohli was very, very watchful. He was not taking any much of a risk. Pati Patel was uh, pretty steady but also uh, not uh, letting go any of the loose opportunities that were served to him. And things were going on pretty uh, decently at 49 for no loss in 6.3 overs. But then uh, there came uh, that young bowler Shreyas Gopal, the wrist spinner who started uh, weaving his magic around the batsman as first uh, he befuddled Kohli uh, with a googly which was actually uh, tossed up but it was wide and Kohli was shaping for the cover drive uh, and the ball uh, actually there was a yawning gap left between the bat and pad as the ball went in through the gap and hit the timber uh, and that was the end of Virat Kohli clean bowl by Shreyas Gopal for 23 of 25 deliveries three fours after that the next to go was another big wicket and it was ABD Villiers, another victim of Googly. But this time, as far as this delivery was concerned from Shreyas Gopal, um, it was a uh, Googly, uh, but uh, it was on a lower trajectory. The ball was keeping, keeping a bit low and ABD Villiers wanted to keep this ball away from his stumps because the ball just fizzing in to him. And in the process, ABD Villiers pushed the ball back to Shreyas Gopal, who gleefully held it. And that was the second wicket from Shreyas Gopal and that too with another googly and then that and that was the second googly which netted the wicket so two big fishes uh, into uh, Shreyas uh, uh, Gopal's net and then Shreyas Gopal uh, really put the third fish into his net as uh, Solomon Hatmir was also beaten by googly the ball was pitched on the middle stump it was turning away from him and um, Hatmir got an edge onto it Butler behind the stumps took the catch Hetmir was walking for one and suddenly this Royal Challengers Bangalore innings uh, was in an absolute shambles. Um, not shambles I would say but there were 73 for three at the stage. All the three wickets going to Shreyas Gopal and uh, that was in the halfway stage uh, dear friends. So this was going on and what a spell of bowling from this uh, bloke uh, Shreyas Gopal. Uh, tremendously one can doff her hats to it. Uh, four overs, one maiden, 12 runs and three wickets. Let me tell you, Kohli and De Villiers could not pick up his googlies. Uh, and then, after that, the owners fell on Parthiv Patel. Parthiv Patel contributed 67 of 41, 9 fours and 1 six in the effort of his. And after that, Stoinis and Moin Ali uh, were the ones who gave a semblance of respectability to the total uh, with 158 for four, uh, a defendable total. Stoinis uh, coming back from the United Arab Emirates for playing his first IPL game contributed an unbeaten 31 of 28, two fours and one six, and Moin Ali 18 of nine, um, uh, 18 not out of nine, two fours and one six. If you look at the ball, Gautam uh, in the initial stages bowled very well, four was none for 19. Kulkarni was a bit uh, out of place, three was none for 26. Jofra Archer, who bowled very well the other day, uh, was uh, really really carted all across the park, four was one for 47. But Shreyas Gopal was simply, simply superb. He took the man of the match award, four rows one maiden, 12 runs and three wickets. Uh, Varun Arun uh, bowled a solitary over, got slammed for 16 runs without a wicket. Stuart Mini bowled one over six, and then Ben Stokes at three overs, 29 taken off that. Now, Rajasthan Royals were facing a target of 159 to win. And, well, I have to tell you, they had absolutely no qualms. Uh, they were uh, pretty comfortable at that as they registered a seven wicket victory. Rahani made 22 of 20, four fours. Uh, Butler uh, contributing uh, in his uh, usual manner, 59 of 43 dollars, which included eight fours and one six. And then it was good to see Stephen Smith get into the get into the run making habit uh, after a long time in IPL. 38 of 31 dollars, two fours and one six. Tripathi 
was the one who hit the winning hit as Umesh Yadav was sent soaring into the sky and that was the victory uh, run for, the, uh, the, for, that was the first victory for Rajasthan Royals in IPL 2019. Tripathi was not out of 34 of 23 balls, 3 fours, 1 6 and the game was over. It was a 7 wicket victory. Umesh Yadav uh, was all over the place today. Uh, he got uh, uh, slammed for 40 runs of 3.5 overs and that's not done. Uh, Nitesh Shiny 4 was none for 35. Siraj uh, was the best of the ballers, 1 for 25 4. But Yuzendra Chahal was definitely, definitely the best bowler uh, for, um, uh, for, the, uh, for uh, RCB. Uh, 4 was 2 for 17. Uh, and Stoin is done for 28. And Moin Ali 1 over none for 14. Shreyas Gopal, as I said, was the man of the match. And I have to say uh, that um, uh, definitely RCB. Uh, has been really, really struggling a great deal in IPL 2019 and uh, they definitely have to pull up their socks pretty quickly in IPL 2019 to pose a challenge uh, to any of the opposition now. Tomorrow the match which is coming up is uh, Chennai Super Kings uh, led by Dhoni uh, who are on an absolute victory roll in the IPL 2019 not having lost a single match uh, would be taking on the Mumbai Indians who have uh, got, a, uh, got a score line of uh, Two, uh, two losses and one win, uh, but uh, they would be the ones who will be taking on the Chennai Super Kings. Should be one one very good match coming up. Well, dear fans, subscribers, uh, this being said, it's about time for me uh, to roll the curtain down on this cricket show for today. I hope you all enjoyed this broadcast with uh, more coming up tomorrow on my next cricket broadcast. This is your host, Ram, bidding you all a very good night. <laughs>